Hello and welcome to another Beer and Code. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know I appreciate it. Today we're talking Knockout again. This is going to be a part tour, uh, kind of a continuation of the last one. So if you haven't seen that, please click the link I will put around here somewhere. Uh, it, just to quickly recap, basically we loaded up a list of cities from a database to HTML or to the web page uh, using Knockout. This time we're going to be inserting data into the database or wherever the database is. Hopefully it should be some fun. But since this is beer and code, I want to talk about the beer I'm drinking. This one is kind of an homage to the Olympics. It's from Australia because the Olympics are a worldwide event and Australia is about as far away from St. Paul, Minnesota as I could think. So it's called Chef 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 Stout. Uh, it's different than the stouts I'm used to from the United States, a little more dry and smoky, but it is very good, a uh, really good change of pace. Thank you, Aussies. All right, on to the code part of beer and code. My probably second favorite part. Today we will be inserting data. To do that, we'll need to add a way for people to enter data into our page. Let's just mark that up. Let's give um, an input for the name of the city, and then we're going to have a select to select which state the city is in. So let's give it a label, call it name, and then do input. And we're going to data bind this to our knockout model. Find the value of it to new city name. All right, and now let's add that to our model. All cities self dot new city name and we'll make that an observable awesome now we have a place for someone to enter the city let's add a place for someone to enter the state country I may say state a lot I don't know why but I keep screwing that it's country country hopefully I'll get it from now on and so, like I said, we're not going to have them type it in. We're going to have them choose from the list of the already available countries. So we we'll use a select for that. And now we're going to need to data bind this. And the select I always seem to have trouble with, so bear with me. There's a bunch of things we need to choose here. It's a little bit more of a complicated binding. We need to bind the option that someone selected back to a value in our view model. So let's do that. We'll call it selected country. And let's add that so we don't forget. Selected country. Now we have to say where the options are coming from. Oops. That's going to be options. And we're going to go. Oh, we don't have that yet. So we have all cities, but we don't have all countries yet. Let's rectify that. And we're just going to load them like we did before. Like we did the cities. And make sure we stick it into the right spot. Okay. So now we're going to data bind it to all countries. Also, we need to say what to put on the label for each option. That's called options text, and it's going to be the name of the country. Now, there should be a place for someone to enter in the name and select the country when I refresh the page. Cross your fingers, and let's find out. Sweet, it didn't work. All right, this is fun. I determined why it wasn't going to work, and I do this wrong 95% of the time. Uh, for options text, for whatever reason, you have to put the variable that you're using in quotes. So if I refresh the page without it in quotes, uh, I get an error, and there are no countries loaded. But then if I put it in quotes, save it again, refresh the page, we're off on an adventure again. Okay, we have a place for the person to add the name of the city and choose a country, but nothing's going to happen yet, and they actually they can't really submit this. So let's add a button. A button. And well, let's go and call it create. Oh, and this is 
kind of long and unruly here, so let's space it out a bit with a BR to get things done. All right, so now we have a button. Let's put that in another line, too. And we have our name in our country. Now, clicking this isn't going to do anything, so let's use some knockout to make that happen. Data bind equals click. Pretty obvious. And now we're going to give it a function that it will call when the button is clicked. So we'll call it new city. And now we will create the function over here. This is just a bare bare JavaScript function. It's not a KO computer observable or anything like that. It's just a function that Knockout will call for us when that button is clicked. What we're going to do in here is we're going to use jQuery to just post post some data to the server. And I'm going to copy and paste this. I try not to do it, but I've uh, I had trouble typing and I already made a mistake once. Uh, I'll go over what this means though. Um, a little, some of it's kind of specific to just make uh, this stuff work with .NET, uh, MV, uh, the MVC stuff that I'm doing, uh, but uh, some of it may be relevant to you. So the type is a post because we're posting data. The data type that I'm sending is JSON. The content type that I'm sending is JSON. The URL I'm posting to is just v1 cities, and our data is the stringified version of the name of the city and the new country code for the city. Uh, one thing I'm missing is a success function. So I want to do something. I want to add the city that we just added into our list of all cities once it returns successfully. So success is going to be a function. And the function is just going to call self.allCities dot push. We're going to push a new city on, and the city, we're just going to put in the city's name, because that's all we really care to see. Name is self dot new city name. Alright, so now, in theory, I'm going to refresh the page. We're going to type in a new name for the city. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. YouTube. Utubia makes more sense, perhaps. Let's pick a country. Doesn't matter. A country Peru, and click Create. Uh, now, in, in theory, if I scroll to the way bottom of this list, there should be a country called Utubia. Utubia, and to prove that that wasn't set up ahead of time, uh, Utubia is currently the last item. I'm going to go back up and type in MeTubia, and choose a different country. And click create. Me to be a cool. So now you can see that just by adding a little bit of extra knockout code, uh, some jQuery, a little bit, a little bit more markup, we can pretty easily start stuffing data into our database. So uh, I hope that was a cool little addition to what we went over last time. I really enjoyed making this one. Uh, it was a, a trickier for me. That's sort of a meta thing. It doesn't really matter for you. I have made it through almost the rest of my beer. It is delicious. Um, that's all I got. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. More importantly, comment underneath what, what you're interested in. And if you liked it or if you didn't, uh, I know some guy mentioned that he didn't like the fact that I reviewed uh, water once. I will not do that again, I promise. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching. Cheers.